you also involved in Somalia. You can tell us uh, this story of Chaco, which never goes. Why is it that UN says uh, KDF is behind sale of Chaco? I think these are within your domain, those three items. Okay. That's now your language. Uh, but what you consider sensitive for the safety of the country, you, you use your discretion. If I may give the genesis of before Kenya entered Somalia, there were mountains and mountains of charcoal in Kismayo, Burgavo, and Kude, and all those spots along the coast. Mountains, it's not about heaps, it's are mountains, because they, they burnt all the forest. And uh, it takes time to, because they've been exporting this to Egypt, I mean not Egypt, to Middle East. Now, when Kenya occupied Kismayo, or captured Kismayo for that matter, and those other ports, the Somalis continued with their business because the mandate of the UN did not give Kenyan troops or the mandate did not allow the Kenyan troops to stop the trade. So it was happening, yes, with the Kenya, where Kenyans were operating, but it was not their mandate to stop what was happening in Somalia. Furthermore, those ships coming from Middle East and wherever, they were docking 200 meters away. And all the other small skiffs would load uh, um, charcoal. These bigger ships would sail to India and elsewhere. Yet, the mandate of the UN did not allow the use of naval vessels to stop any boats coming to Somalia. So it was not really a Kenyan mandate to stop the trade. Although the trade was by chairman with your permission, although the trade was essentially by Al-Shabaab. Initially it was by Al-Shabaab because they were controlling the cities and towns. But when the towns were captured, you know, there, is no, there was no difference, but there is no line between Al-Shabaab and, 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 and Chaco Banas. So they are all the same. 